Register Phenomena Code 988 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Mechanical Hazard Transmutation Hazard Grouped Hazard Memory Alteration Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-988 is to be monitored and kept within the Anomalous Item Storage Unit located in Site-016. Should RPC-988 ever become active, an electromagnetic pulse is to be delivered to temporarily disable it. RPC-988 is a checkered marathon painted yellow with a long checkered stripe running along the body of the car and a bumper with the words, Jeff's Checker. Visually, RPC-988 does not differ from other checker taxicabs of its time. Inside RPC-988 is a small Boppin' Heads wizard bobblehead. This item cannot be removed. Instead of a gear shift stick, there is a touchscreen tablet with no discernible traits. When the driver swipes up on the tablet, the car will enter the equivalent of the drive shift. When the driver swipes down, the car will enter the equivalent of the reverse shift. Once a gear has been selected, RPC-988 will function as a normal checker marathon. Inscriptions that are not featured in the pamphlet will not work. Inside RPC-988's glove box is a small pamphlet titled Instruction Manual. Inside are several inscriptions with names that can be input into the tablet. The pamphlet also details what situations these could be used in and how they work often calling upon another magical entity called Horus Radish. These inscriptions include Spell Name Description Activation Method Goros Makam When activated, causes four red luminescent arms to grow from each door. In unison, these arms are strong enough to lift up RPC-988 off the ground for an indefinite amount of time. Activated by drawing two vertical lines on the tablet. Division is hard. When activated, RPC-988 begins to multiply itself into several 4-28 exact replicas. These replicas dissipate after 3-12 hours. Activated by creating six dots on the tablet in a straight line. Transforma RPC-988 will transform to match its current environment. When in the same environment, it will often transform into a faster vehicle often changing the type of automobile. Activated by drawing a T on the tablet. For when I have to take it apart, RPC-988 will begin to break down the basic components. This does not harm anyone inside RPC-988. Activated by drawing six dots in a scattered pattern on the tablet. Cool spell name. A portal will appear 10 meters in front of RPC-988. It is unknown where this portal leads to, as the driver and passengers do not recall their time located within the portal. Activated by drawing a circle on the tablet with a smaller dot inside the first circle. The back page of the pamphlet reveals the name John Raymond Stein Lawrence, shortened to Lawrence. Lawrence is a 58-year-old man living in New York. He was interviewed by the authority as soon as he was found. Below is the interview log. Interviewed, J. R. S. Lawrence Interviewer, Dr. L. Ossis Forward, on J. R. S. Lawrence was interviewed by Dr. L. Ossis Begin Log Hello there, Mr. Lawrence. I am Dr. Levi Ossis. What is it you need, Doctor? I am here to ask you about a particular taxicab that apparently belongs to you. Ah, you found that old thing. I guess I must have left a few spells on there. Care to elaborate? Yes, you see, being skilled in magic isn't very helpful in today's society. Either people don't believe you, or the government just comes in and kidnaps you. At first, I was a self-proclaimed psychic, but people didn't really believe me. I then moved on to palm reading, then as a magician and then finally decided to become a taxi service. Then I realized, just because I don't work in magic doesn't mean I can't use it for personal reasons, and so, I cast a couple spells on it, made a few modifications, and then sold it on Craigslist. I assume this is how you found this so-called RPC-988, yes? 
How did you know about RPC 988's classification? Mind reader, remember? And no, amnestics don't work. I've tasted every flavor. Immune to it. Okay, but why did you create RPC 988? Were you not paying attention to anything I was saying? Last question. Who is this Horus Rage you mentioned in your pamphlet? How dense are you that you don't see it just says horseradish? Thank you for your time, Mr. Lawrence. End log. Researchers note. Although Mr. Lawrence showed no signs of odd behavior during the period of this interview, I clearly have some doubt that Mr. Lawrence would leak sensitive information regarding with RPC-988. Furthermore, I would like to request in recording that Mr. Lawrence be placed in surveillance for safety measures. He is to be considered POI-988.